How to convert a capacitor into an inductor? We use an impedance converter circuit shown here based on one op amp. This op amp is in negative feedback configuration as seen here. We also assume that the op amp is in linear region of operation so that it can enforce the virtual short between the positive input terminal and negative input terminal so that Vp is equal to Vn and then equal to Vn. So we can say, uh, because of negative feedback configuration, and because we are assuming up hand in linear region, so from these two, we can say uh, virtual short holds. So VP is equal to VN and Vn is equal to Vin, so that's relationship 1 because of virtual short. Okay, and now since no current is flowing or coming out of input terminals because input impedance is infinite or very large, then the whole current going through Zp is equal to the current going through Z, and the relationship between Vp and V out is just the voltage divider between these impedances. So we can just say Vp is just Z divided by Z plus Zp times V out. Or we can say V out is Z plus Zp divided by Z times Vp. Okay, that's number two. Now we can use one and two. So uh, combining one and two, we can get V out is 1 plus Zp divided by Z, just rewriting this guy, and Vp, I will replace it with Vn. Okay, so that is number 3. Now I can just simply write a KCL for uh, the current going through Zf and the voltage across Zf. And that current is equal to IN because no current is going or coming out of input terminal. So here we also have IN flowing into ZF. So from, from KCL, I can say, or KVL, uh, we can say IN is equal to VN minus V out, the voltages across ZF divide by ZF. Now, uh, I can just replace V out with the result from 3. So effectively, Vn minus replacing V out, 1 plus Zp divided by Z times Vn equal to multiply both sides with ZF. So ZF divided by In. This is can be simplified this cancel out, cancels out the Vn, so we get Zf is equal to uh, Zfin equal to minus Zp divided by Z times Vn. Or if we rewrite it, we can say Vn divided by In is equal to minus Z F times divide by Z P times Z. And by the way, V N divide by I N is the input is in impedance observed by V N. That's the Z N. So input impedance has this relationship between with uh, Z F, Z P, and Z. Now, the interesting things that can be realized from 4, if, let's say, impedance ZF equal to ZP, then ZN is equal to minus Z. So, we effectively uh, made that negative imp uh, impedance converter or NIC circuit and from 4 if 
let's say z uh, equal to zf equal to r and zp let's say is a capacitor uh, then it, its impedance is 1 over cs so replacing the values for z z f c p in 4 we can get zn equal to minus r squared over 1 over cs which means minus r squared cs and effectively this way you uh, manage to make or simulate a negative inductance so this is a negative inductor uh, just a caveat that all of these uh, is depending on the fact that these two things are correct so we have to properly uh, connect the supply voltages of uh, the op amp and also the negative terminal of the op amp need, uh, the ground terminal of the op amp need to be connected to ground and also we are assuming that this circuit is always in linear region of operation op amp is not saturated um, in order to get the positive inductance effect or simulate a positive inductor instead of negative just imagine the relationship between z in and z if zf is equal to zp so we are just saying if these two are equal to each other then zn would be minus c so i can just uh, put another of this circuit instead of z in this format so this is our first circuit which uh, we said we're going to put a resistor instead of zf as r and this is our op amp i'm just finding these values i'm just applying them and we said ZF is, is also uh, ZP is 1 over CS, so we put a capacitor here, right? And instead of Z, I'm going to put another one here. So I'm going to put a one with a resistor R. And resistor R and a resistor R. So we know what's going to happen is since in this in this one since in this one these two are equal to each other as if like this one then the impedance observed from this point is minus R. Now we know the impedance observed from this point from this one is uh, related to uh, z like the one shown here so we can just say from this guy that zn is this 